bond from America? What? So today we are going to check out a band called The Kinks. I have heard the name The Kinks before and I think I've maybe seen them on t-shirts. A lot of times when I'm reading through the comments on these videos, people are like, as if she hasn't heard of The Kinks before. I just looked up a little about this band and they were in the 1960s. I wasn't around in the 1960s just because they were really popular then. I don't necessarily know them now. And I'm just not a person who was super into music. And I'm sorry if you name me a movie from the 1960s, I've probably seen it because I'm a film buff, but I never got into the music phase of my life. I just never did. Here are some other reasons I might not know them and you do. So yeah, I actually thought the Kinks were a 90s band for some reason. Like I'm seeing the Kinks and monochrome coloring for some reason in my head. Like I've seen it on a t-shirt, but maybe that's just when the t-shirts got popular. As for what they sing, I don't know. I will investigate more about them after I watch their most popular song, which is called Lola. And that's not ringing any bells for me. Don't forget, if you like seeing these videos, do, if you can, support me for the cost of a sandwich on patreon.com slash Jennings or channel membership on Patreon. You can get early release music reactions, which if you like this video, you might like that too. Don't take this the wrong way if your name is Lola. It's a beautiful name. It feels like a really cute baby name or like a dog name. Lola. Lola. Lola the dog. Which again, if you're a human and your name is Lola, please don't take offense. I'm sure there are dogs called Diane too. One for one on the cringe backtracking. Honestly, I don't think there are any dogs called Diane. Does anybody know of a dog called Diane? Is your dog called Diane? Because that would be cool. But also, it would be surprising.
that was so different to what I had in my head. Eclectic use of instruments. I think I was expecting, do you remember there's like a 90s or noughties band? And there was like a question over whether they were brother and sister or husband and wife. I think they might have been English. I think that's who I thought it was gonna be. I need to know more about the lyrics because they seem to be saying something. But I'm also not sure I'm right what they're saying. Oh, okay. The twist comes when we find out Lola is a man. As stated in the Kinks, the official biography, Ray Davies wrote the lyrics after their manager got drunk at a club and started dancing with what he thought was a woman. Very topical, currently, kind of, isn't it? Like, there's a lot of discourse around gender ideology currently. Today, Lola is recognized as one of the first commercially successful LGBTQ plus songs. The song released in 1970 recounts the story of a man enjoying a night out with a woman named Lola. As the song progresses, listeners learn that Lola is a man too. There's an overwhelming sense of acceptance and delight in how the evening turned out for the narrator, despite the narrator's initial confusion. Well, I'm not dumb, but I can't understand why she walked like a woman, but she talked like a man. Lola is a song about embracing love in whatever shape or form it arrives. Huh. The story goes, Wace went out on a night in Paris and believed he was dancing with a woman until he realized the woman had facial hair. Davies explained, one of our crew at the time met this beautiful blonde and he took her back to the hotel. In the morning he saw stubble growing on her chin so he got a surprise. But in line with the song's overall tone, this realization did not lead to alarm. This event was merely another reason to celebrate life, love and sexuality. Girls will be boys and boys will be girls, Davies sings. Well geez, that's super interesting. What's the thing about coca-cola the radio banned lola from the air because the lyrics concluded included my bad coca-cola and went against the bbc's policy against product placement upon hearing the news davies changed the lyric to cherry cola for british radio oh wow that's silly okay the kinks let's learn more about them the kinks were an english rock band formed in london in 1963 by brothers ray and dave davies they're regarded as one of the most influential rock bands of the 1960s. The relationship between the Beatles and the Kinks is a peculiar one. Remarkably, the two bands only played a handful of shows together, but these meetings proved to be instrumental in the latter's growth. Although they were never close associates, there was an undeniable mutual appreciation between the two acts. What are the Kinks famous for? The Kinks are famous for their influential 1960s British invasion, which include rhythm and blues beginnings with sharp social observation and theatricality of British music. Whatever happened to the Kinks? The Kinks never formally split. The Davies brothers continued their relationship, but it deteriorated until the band played their last show in 96. That's so sad. The Kinks were banned from America? What? The Federation banned the Kinks from performing in the United States for a period of four years, 1965 to 1969. Although the Federation never actually gave a reason for this ban, it didn't actually matter. The Kinks were out. Who's the Federation? From Star Wars? Do they mean the Confederation? Oh, okay. The American Federation of Television and Rock Artists. They never gave a reason? Surely somebody knows the reason. Ray Davies recalled their experience in America as character assassination, a plot to destroy us. He said, everyone from roadies to tour managers tells a story of general misbehavior wherever the band went. After punching a union official for claiming the British invasion was a communist plot and skipping a show in Sacramento, the band played on Dick Clark NBC without paying mandatory fees due to the American Federation of TV and Recording Artists. That's why they were ba they were banned from America? Somebody give me more insight in comments. I need to know more. Shout out today to a couple of very special people. We it's the future. I, I don't know. I just thought this was a cool background and then I thought the font was cool and these are cool people. So I just kind of felt it went together. Anyway, shout out to all these cool people in the squad. I hope to talk to all of you at some point this month in our little hangout that we do. Thanks for supporting the channel. I absolutely could not make these videos without your help. That's it for today. I'll see you guys on the other side.